we'll start here. This is our database. Inside it we have a gallery table and one of the columns here is an image column of type blob. Okay. Uh, there's also a title associated with it and an ID. Now the way that we access this table is through a REST module that we created here okay, and you can follow the documentation on how to do it. We got um, images URL with a POST method in here and we can show you what this POST method actually does. It accepts a couple of parameters including title and content type Okay, and it returns um, and the body, which is the image, and it then uh, returns um, the status and image ID after it did an insert into the database. Okay. The parameters here, uh, we have the content type, which is an in parameter. We have the title, another in, and two out. One is location and the other one is status, and those are based on the apex returned values. So all of this is coming from an example in the database and you can see it in our documentation in the blog. So we expose this post method, okay, and there's also a get method and just to show you um, if we do this call, okay, we get all the images in the gallery which right now we don't have anything. So let's copy this URL over and inside Visual Builder we're going to create a service connection. We'll define it by endpoint. This one returns many images, okay? And we'll keep the names. Um, right now we're not using any security and we can also test this just to make sure that it actually works and create the get method. And then we're going to add an endpoint, which would be our post, okay? So this is to the images URL. I remember the slash at the end and we need a create, okay? Now, um, this accepts a body. Now, in the body, we're actually not passing application and JSON, rather we're passing an image of type PNG. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch this and type image slash PNG. This would be what we pass in. In the response, by the way, we're also getting image.png so let's replace this with image.png and we can now click add so now we have the post option oh actually there's a couple more things in the post I remember we had some parameters that we're passing on the header uh, we're passing a title okay this is a string and we're also passing another uh, dynamic header which is content type okay and we're going to use image.png here like that um, both of them are required we have a default value here that we're going to use all right so now we have the post defined now let's define our little application so our application is going to have um, business object we'll call it contacts so let's create a business object and we'll call it contacts okay we'll add a field here we can add for example a name um, that would be the name of the contact and we also want the picture so I have a picture here we'll keep it as text because we can't store blobs in the database okay um, so this is our business object and then we're going to create a mobile app so let's create a mobile app, we'll call it contacts and we'll just create a very simple one like that hide this part we'll title this page contacts okay. and what we want to have here is we want to have a list of our contacts so we'll drop a list here and we'll tie it to our contact object what we want to show about each contact is going to be their picture and their name. Picture goes into this section and we're gonna have it show up as an image like that. So initially the list is going to be empty of course. We're still uh, selecting the list so we can now add a create page that will allow us to create a contact and again we'll have a name and we'll have a picture and click finish. Um, so now if we want to go to this 
um, create page, we just go to live mode and click on the plus sign. This would take us into the create page and now we'll be able to edit this page. So on this page we have the name, we have the picture and we want to add a button to actually take the picture. So we'll add a button here and we'll call it take a picture. Okay? And once we uh, get the picture, we want to also show the picture, we'll drop an avatar component here, make it a bit bigger and hook it up to the same picture variable from our contact. So now we need to hook up this take a picture button to an event when we press on it. Okay. What are we going to do? So we're going to take a photo like that. All right. This is an image. And then we're going to call a REST service. The REST service that we're calling is our POST method over here to create a new image record. We need to pass in a title. So we'll pass in the title would be basically the name of the employee. So we'll just drag it over. Um, and then the content type, this can be a static uh, image PNG. Okay, like that. Alright. Then we need to pass the body. The body is the picture that we're taking. So here we have a take a photo one uh, action. And here we can basically reference the results of this take a photo, which is a file. We'll just pass it over as a body here. Like that. Alright, what happens if something fails? We're going to show a notification saying um, error that and we can show the status code here from our REST call like that and this can be a transient error. If we succeed however what we want to do is we want to assign a variable okay, and we want to take what is returned from our REST call um, and what is returned is actually the header um, and we want to put it inside a picture. Now the header okay, has the location. Okay, so we're going to do here a get location like that. So this would return the value into this field. Alright, so um, this should be it. Let's try our little application now. We'll click the run. Right now there are no employees. You can click the plus sign and say for example there's a new employee called Shai and we want to take a picture. Now because we're running in an emulator we're actually popping up this inside a file selector here. So we're going to select a file. The value is uploaded to the database. We see the image here and when we click save we save a record into our business object that has the name and the location of the image. Now the image is actually stored now inside our database over here. So remember before we looked at the gallery and there was no data here. If we now hit refresh we should see shy image PNG and there's a blob in here. Okay. We can now do the same thing and take our application to actually run on the device. So to do that we're going to do a couple of things and um, to make things simpler I'm going to allow my application to be accessed anonymously so um, in the security I'm going to allow anonymous access and then I'm going to turn this application to support progressive web apps. Okay. In order to be able to insert into the database once I made it anonymous I should also go to my business object in under security in the role-based security I should have the anonymous user with the ability to view and create records. Okay. And now I can click run. This would pop up my UI and I can build my app. Okay, we'll build our app with a clean database. So now we have a little barcode that we can scan with our phone. So let me show you my phone. There we go. And we're going to bring up our QR scanner here. Okay. 
and we are going to scan this barcode. Once we scan it, we get a URL. We click the URL. This would open it in a browser. Because this is a progressive web app, it's going to prompt me, hey, do you want to add this to your home screen? And I'm going to say yes, let's add. Click add. And now we have this also as an app on our application list. If we pop up our application list and scroll, we'll be able to get our contacts. And here we go, we get our contacts application on our mobile phone. Let's click the plus sign, okay, and let's create another shy employee, we'll call her shy2, okay, and then we'll click the take a picture, okay, we'll put, choose our camera, and here you can see our screen, I'm gonna switch it over to the other side, say hello, and take a picture, like that. Okay, click OK, and our image is uploaded into the database, shown up on our device, and if we click Save, it's saved into our database as well. Okay. If we go back to our database now, and hit Refresh, we'll see Shai2 and the image.